20, to the 10, to the 5, touchdown! Hit the horn! Welcome into the Frog Film Room here for our first edition with the head coach, Sonny Dykes, as the Horn Frogs coming off that good win on Saturday against Nichols. Uh, now they get to turn their attention to the Houston Cougars. Coach, let's start with the first uh, quick conversation about that. That Nichols game was probably exactly what your team needed at this point, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was. It was good to get back out, get a win. Um, it wasn't real pretty at times. I mean, that's uh, those games are kind of frustrating when you're a big favorite. Sometimes you – you know, want to go out and score 56 yeah. points the first possession, and it's hard to do that. And and, um, and Nichols really did a good job. They came in. I thought they played really good defense. Um, did some good things scheme-wise. Got their safety involved in the run game quite a bit. Made it tough on us to run the ball, and we wanted to stick with the run game. Anyway, overall, it was good to get a win. Uh, certainly a lot of ways we can get better, but, um, you know, I was happy that our guys, we had a good mentality, had a good week of practice. Um, best thing, honestly, was to – to just win, yeah. and then and then now you know we had a great Sunday workout, and, and our players I think are in a really good place mentally and excited to move forward. And you got to play a lot of guys too. We're going to talk more about that as uh, this goes on. But first off, uh, you take a look at some of the uh, highlights early on in this one. It was kind of back and forth. It, it almost felt like both teams were sort of feeling each other out early. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. You know, we. we um, you know, didn't quite string together the drive like yeah. we wanted to at the beginning, and ended up having a punt, and then all you know made a big play, obviously, um, when we stopped them and it with the, with the punt block. And so, um, yeah, I think there was a little bit of that going on early, and we've got to do a better job of starting fast. Yeah. You know, I think that's going to be one of the big things moving forward for us is making sure that we string together a good drive and and you know go down and score and we have an opportunity to do so. Yeah, you mentioned that punt block. Here's a look at it. Trent Battle gets his hand on it here. This is a Texas Health impact play this week and I thought Blake Nowell did a great job just scooping and scoring. He knew where the end zone was. Yeah, he did. Yeah, Trent got through. We we this is something we felt like we had an opportunity to do. We felt like their deep snapper wasn't uh, wasn't great and and was kind of uh, might be an issue and and felt like we could really push the middle. So uh, put some bigger guys in there, Blake Baldwin, some guys inside, and, and had to let them rush rush a little bit. And, and uh, they got a good push, and, uh, you know, we, we got our hand on it. All right, back half of the uh, first quarter here, your offense starts to get into rhythm. Uh, and uh, obviously we're going to see Chandler score on, on this 32-yard run here in a second. But to me the thing that stood out, well, there was a stretch in both halves where Chandler completed 11 straight passes. Uh, walk us through that. I mean, that's that's important. I mean, if you can do that, you're going to be efficient, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. You know, you look at Chandler's stat stat line. I mean, he was 26 of 30. Yeah. Um, had a drop. Uh, Jalen Robinson dropped an easy um, kind of RPO that, that could have been a big play. Um, and then we had a somewhat of a drop uh, with Major Everhart on a dig route across mm -hmm. the middle that probably could have made the play on that ball. And then had a little bit of a high throw on a screen to JoJo Earl. And then really threw a corner uh, to, to uh, DJ Allen that was a little overthrown. DJ probably could have run the route a little bit higher. And those were the only four balls that Chandler missed the whole day. And really, you could make the argument, you know, he was 30 for 30 on, on good throws. And, and gets it done here with his feet, this 32-yard run. First time uh, that the Horned Frogs find the end zone in this game offensively. Obviously, you had the, the block punt, but Chandler there. That shows you that's a real important part of this offense, too, in the, the quarterback run game. It is. Yeah, it is. And Chandler did a great job of pulling it down a couple of times and making some big plays and converting a couple of third downs and uh, for us as well. And so, you know, when we see man coverage, it's a great opportunity for the quarterback to run. And uh, and so Chandler did a great job recognizing it, pulled it down, and, and uh, made a heck of a run. You mentioned Jalen Robinson catches this 14-yard touchdown pass from Chandler. This won't be his last as a frog. You could tell that meant a little something to him, finding the end zone in Fort Worth. Yeah, yeah, he was excited to do it. He's yeah. back home now playing uh, playing for TCU. and. And, uh, again, I think his best football is in front of him. You held their quarterback, McQuaid, in that second half to just 6 of 14 for 61 yards. Had the pick as well. All right, get a couple of scores in this second half. The first one here, the four-yard pass to JoJo Earl. Uh, this one from uh, Chandler, obviously. This makes it now, at this point, 31 to 6. And then this one late from a young man named Bailey who's going to be pretty good. Coach. All in all, post game, what was your uh, message to him? Well, the big thing was, you know, look, it's number one, it's always good to win. Yeah. That's the most important thing, get a win. Number two, you know, we didn't feel like we really played our standard. And, and so we, we've got championship standards and championship expectations around here, and you want to play to those, those expectations. And pointed that out to our players, and that's a little bit of a, of a fine line because at the end of the day, it's about winning. 
you know, we won by 34 points, but we want to play as well as we can every time we take the field and not be satisfied with, with anything less than what we're capable of. And so it's a good learning experience for us. And again, I love the way our guys came out on Sunday and, you know, we coached them hard and they responded and had a great day of practice. And so I'm excited about where we're headed. All right, Frogs headed to Houston on Saturday night for a seven o'clock kick. They'll be looking to go two and one on the season for the 21st time in the last 24 years. We'll talk about the Cougars with the head coach when we continue after this here on Frogs Film Room. Old Trapper Beefs, camping catastrophes. So the kids wanna go camping again. Hmm. Well, yeah, let's go camping. Yay! Old Trapper, what's your beef? Welcome back into the Frog Film Room here with the head coach, Sonny Dykes. All right, uh, Old Trapper, one of our sponsors, we're happy to have them on board with us. And each week we have a question for Coach now. It's called, uh, what's your beef? And I thought it would be fitting that we started with this tough one for you, Coach. <laughs> what vegetable does Sunny Dykes hate? You know what, the problem is lots of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, vegetables are probably not my favorite thing. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't really like Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm. And uh, Brussels sprouts are like a thing now. Right, a oh, lot yeah. Of, a lot of people like them. Yeah. Um, then it's not my favorite. Okay, so uh, we're going to go with that. Gonna stay away from Brussels sprouts. I like it, I like yeah. it. That's our old trapper question of the week. All right, let's turn our attention to Houston. Uh, Dana Holgerson, the head coach of the Cougars, obviously knows the Big 12, the head coach at West Virginia. You guys know each other quite well. You're on Mike Leach's staff, been around each other. Give us some sense of what fans should expect out of this Houston team. Yeah, I know Dana for 25 years. I mean, Dana's teams are always going to be tough, uh, tough-minded. Um, they're going to play with a lot of emotion. You know, Dana's just uh, one of those coaches that has, a, has does a great job motivating his guys and getting them ready to play. You know, they lost to Rice last week in, in overtime, a game that was a pretty wild game. They were down big and rallied, and and then Rice pulled away in overtime and, and won the game, made some plays down the stretch. Um, they're going to be a team that's going to be hungry. Yeah. You know, I think that's going to be the biggest thing for them. They're going to be – Hungry, excited to play. It's going to be the first Big 12 uh, home game for these guys. Um, it's going to be a big deal for the University of Houston. I'm sure it's going to be a fantastic crowd. Their players are going to come out and and uh, you know and come out and fight and play really really hard. So we our guys got to be uh, expecting that we're going to get their best effort. And let's be honest, it, it, goofy things happen in Houston. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they always have. They yeah. do. It's I, I played some coaching some weird games in that stadium yeah. and. Uh, you just kind of never know what's going to happen. Yeah, all right. The Horn Frogs take on a team that, by the way, has a true dual threat quarterback. We see some highlights here, Donovan Smith. This guy, is, he's thrown for four. He's run for three. I mean, I mean he is kind of their offense right now. Yeah, yeah. He's a really good football player. He's a big, strong guy, throws the ball well. You know, he's got a lot of experience. You know, we played against him last year. He was Texas Tech's quarterback when we played him. And, and uh, you know, big, powerful guy. And, and uh you know, the thing that I like about him is is he's a really tough player. Yeah. I mean, he can he can pull it down and get you two or three hard fought yards when you need it. And he's a guy that right now in third and short, fourth and short, he's kind of their playmaker. Houston always has wide receivers. I mean, it, it seems like they always do, and Samuel Brown's another one, isn't he? Yeah, they've got a good group this year. Yeah, yeah. Samuel Brown, uh, Joseph Van Jack. I mean, those guys are all uh, pretty good players, and and they're all. You know, speed on the outside and the man jack in the middle of the field, and, and he, you know, is a really good route runner, catches the ball, really consistent for those guys. And and so, you know, they've got two big tackles on their offensive line, really good players. I know one of them graded out higher, I think, than any tackle in college football last week. And so, you know, two pro prospects at tackle. So they'll, they'll be a challenging group. And, you know, running backs that have some speed and, and, and run hard. And defensively, they've allowed some yardage this year, especially in the passing game. Yeah, they have. They have. They've given up a couple of plays. Rice, Rice just made a bunch of contested yes. plays in, in that football game. I mean, you go and you watch the tape. You know, their receivers just went up and made plays, and you got to give Rice a lot of credit for doing that. And I was going to say, by the way, their two opponents, Rice and UTSA, are both pretty good. Yeah, they are. Two good football teams yeah. and two tough teams, and, and and really do a good job running the ball. All right, uh, Frogs this week against Houston. What do you want to see out of your group? Well, just consistency, you know, effort, uh, really, really tough-minded uh, effort, consistency. You know, it's going to be a 60-minute ball game. Anytime you go play a conference game on the road, 
it's going to be a dogfight. And so our guys understand that, and, and we're going to have to go play well and take care of the football. I mean, that's been the big thing for us. You know, when we protect the ball, uh, we've been a, a team that's been tough to beat. So we got to limit our turnovers and, and then do a good job of, of playing, you know, TCU uh, defense. I mean, just, you know, swarm to the ball, tackle, um, and, and play with an edge. How many hours a week you see? you think you sit here watching film? You ever think about that? Um, yeah, you know, I, I don't really, yeah. but quite a few. Yeah. yeah, yeah, quite a few. I mean, it's uh, it's just kind of what we do as coaches. Right, yeah. I, I need to get those blue blocker glasses maybe. Really, <laughs> keep going yeah. Thanks for the time, Coach. Yeah, I know. Appreciate it. Glad there it is. Here. Sunny Dykes. A little frog film for you here from the film room as the Horned Frogs get set now for Houston coming up on Saturday night at 7. We'll be back with you next week breaking it down for you right here. Thanks for the time.